Well, Hellfire, it is Rock the Riff, and I am back with some more Metalhead Ivy's King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. <laughs> oh, I could tell sometimes, like, so the way I work is I wake up, I take about 20 minutes to myself, and then I come sit in the studio, fire the computer up. Get everything rolling. Sometimes I need to take a little longer just so my brain will uh, fire off its synapses in the right order. Welcome back. Doing another Metalhead. <laughs> la, la, la. See? Metalhead Envy. Back with some more King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. We're going to dive into the Cruel Millennial. That's a, that's a funny name. The Cruel Millennial. Continuing on... Uh, I have been going through the studio version of Fishing for Fishies, and I can I can see why some people are making the argument that the studio versions are a little bit better. There is a vibe within this album that's such a jam. Uh, I think part of the reason why I like watching the live ver good live versions too is I like the visual stimulation as well. Uh, I do think it like. It's a little bit funner to see the live version over a stagnant photo of the album cover. But there and again, this version, doing it like this is fun too. I have fun. That's basically what I'm trying to say is like doing the Metalhead Envy series is fun. I enjoy it, especially with a band like King Giz that I really, the further I go down this rabbit hole, the more I like them, the more uh, I feel like they just are fantastic people and musicians and everything let's dive on into the cruel millennial i like that effect what do you think of the train If that one little riff that they're doing if they're using a slide that's exactly what it sounds like to me it sounds like a glass slide but it just sounds like I don't know why it makes me think of a train whistle <laughs> a slide something I've never been able to really comprehend this uh, I used to have a glass slide and I think after a month of me trying to like fuck with it I was doing something and it just come right off my finger and broke I never picked up another one I think they're cool I'll take a lighter nowadays uh, especially when I got like a, a classic big with no cover on it just the plastic I'll use a lighter to fuck around with a slide every once in a while but that's still a style that's just I think it sounds so cool, but it's like I've never understood if you're supposed to slide up into the actual middle of the fret because every time I do that, it sounds so off to me. But if I slide to above the actual uh, fret, the metal, the metal of the fret, uh, damn! I just realized my lights are not on in the background. <laughs> damn, the hell. But yeah, never understood a slide, damn it. It's just, oh, wrong camera. <laughs> 
I've never understood. Like, are are you supposed to slide up to the middle? Over the metal piece of the prep. I can't, I don't know why I can't think of the fucking name of that thing right now. I'm telling you. I'm a dumb dumb. So far, I would actually make the argument that Coral Millennial's got some of the best guitar licks in it. I love these little flutters and rolls and everything we got going. Another thing I was going to say about Fishing for Fishies album as a whole, every time I go get on YouTube and type in the track and scroll down a hair just to see what videos we got, I think this album has more guitar covers than I've seen of any other King Giz record so far that I've searched on YouTube. So a lot of people love the guitar, and I, I, I think I gotta give the, the guitars the MVP so far. They, they got some badass little licks throughout this whole album. the flutters everything this is this is a killer guitar track i like ambrose's uh vocals too i still think ambrose does the best in gila monster <laughs> his line in gila monster man i think about that shit on the daily and i don't know what the fuck he's saying Never mind. <laughs> but now now that everybody i haven't listened to any murloc song yet but i do understand that apparently it's like the most bluesy out of everything uh which it's the murloc so it's not king giz but ambrose must be the most blues driven of the man like that that's what he likes the most and everything but i feel like it shines through here on the cruel millennial too like there's just a bit of flair and a soul that Ambrose has when it comes to doing these songs and everything. I don't know, all of them do. I just, I guess maybe it's better to say, like the blues just fits Ambrose a little bit better. Maybe I'm crazy.
man. Get that harmonica, man. I'm telling you. I can't wait to show this record to my dad. Like, I'm super excited to show this record to my dad. And then, I'm, I am I kind of zoned out there for a second. I know I'm right here at the ass end of the song, but I was like, damn, copyright holding, the copyright holding thing wasn't a serious thing to where I can't post shit sometimes. I definitely, I would have zoned and let that play right there. I was lost. I think the guitars and everything in this track are fucking fantastic. This falls into the track. Damn, I still need to come up with a category name. This falls into, like, turns into an insta play for me. Like, I want to stop, pick up a guitar, and jam. I love the lead licks or the guitar licks and everything in that. Is that rhythm too? <laughs> I'm gonna fade with that sound. Oh, I hope that picks up in the next track. Whatever that is. I know it's I'm assuming it's a synth, but it sounds like glass bottles clinking together. Yeah. That makes me curious about what's what this is bleeding into. Cruel Millennial. I like that song. I think that continues the jam vibe we got going on. I'm wondering, once I actually sit down and go through this album from beginning to end, I wonder if percussion in this record is going to like feel a bit drony. Because I feel like even, I broke down every song how I've listened to it so far. I do feel like Cavs is He's got a running theme through this album so far that he hasn't like been able to break away from too much. But there and again, it's still it's still good. I guess uh, just the progginess in me is wanting the drums to change up a lot more. But still a jam. Like uh, like I keep saying, I feel like this would be the record that me and my dad could actually listen to together. I could not. I could tell you right now, if I pulled out Petro, my favorite, and was like, all right, Dad, let's listen to this. He'd make it three minutes into Motor Spirit. And he'd be like, I don't know if he could stop laughing over the, the whole, like that kind of style vocals. Because I just don't, I don't know. My dad might enjoy it. Every once in a while, he'll pull the cat out of the hat and be like, yeah, check this out. And it's like some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe the apple don't fall far from the tree. Uh, but yeah, I like the Cruel Millennial. Really, what's funny is I'm sitting here, and I'm, I need to look at this camera when I talk more. I have the worst habit of looking over at OBS and uh, looking at my audio levels and seeing everything's working, make sure my CPU's good. But part of it is, is I'm sitting here when I get to look at a song just with the album cover, I don't know about y'all, but I get lost looking in the flames. It's like I'm a damn fire watch. But I think out of all of this, the flames are my favorite painted color. I like looking at the brush strokes that are everything going in there. Because this, look, this looks like an actual painting. Which the robot, <laughs> I still can't. Excuse me. I still can't say his name. Hantayami. That's how I say it. It's funny seeing him in overalls. I need to wear my overalls when I check out King Gans. <laughs> Especially for this record. But, uh, yeah. That was... That was a good song. I enjoy. I have enjoyed this record. It's, to me, this has been a good palate cleanse 
and still not like it's still a jam it's still just a fun time to listen to every song so far has put a smile on my face like i enjoy it uh if this ends up being your first time in the channel please leave a like comment subscribe let me know what your thoughts are uh if you have a song suggestion swing over the community tab scroll down you'll see metalhead emmy's round four suggestions that's still the list i'm working on and uh i actually had a buddy reach out uh dm me on instagram and he was worried uh made in talica he was worried that that list might get spammed too much and i was telling him i was like trust me i don't y'all just put your requests it don't matter to me the only like I would say, if you were leaving a bunch of requests on this video or another video, it would be hard for me to get to those because in time, as many videos as I post a day, because I post, I'm trying to get in a better habit of posting more. So I post one at eight, and then I try to post some shorts at 10, and then the Metalhead Envy series comes out at 12, and on, uh, on some days I stream at five, and then on my off days, I'm trying to get into the habit of posting another video at five so putting stuff on that community post is is perfect and i don't think you can spam it if you've got a song you want me to check out leave it on there i have definitely get to it at some point and it will be here it will be posted here on the channel as long as the copyright holder doesn't block it so please if you have a song you want me to check out swing over there leave it there uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't think of nothing else to say. So, with all that being said, stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.